It is undoubtedly Jupiter's trademark, the Great Red Spot. Originally nearly three times the size of Earth, the spot is now shrinking, and that's what's giving researchers cause for concern. The spot is a unique phenomenon, and astronomers were eager to learn more about it. So they took the plunge and created a probe that would, for the first time, be able to probe the inside of this mystery. We'll take a closer look at what came out of it right now. But before we start, we would like to ask you for a contribution. Leave us a comment after the video. Your opinion or expertise is very important to us. From now on, our subscribers' comments will always get a heart and will pin your important contribution at the top so everyone reads it first. The Biggest and Most Important Storm in the Solar System For a long time, we on Earth didn't know what the Great Red Spot was all about. It was discovered by the astronomer Robert Hooke in 1664, who looked into the night sky with a rather simple telescope and could only roughly detect a typical stripe pattern, the marbling, and the spot. At that time, people could not possibly know anything about the size and uniqueness of this planet. That Jupiter is a planet 384 times larger than Earth and probably consists almost entirely of gases, people found out much later. Jupiter belongs to the inner planets, which can still be seen well from Earth with simple telescopes. Jupiter can be seen in the night sky even with the naked eye. It looks like a bright star, but it changes its position remarkably fast. Of course, Jupiter has no light of its own, but like Venus and Mars, it reflects sunlight in such a way that it appears to us like a star. Voyager 1 provided the first true color image of Jupiter in the late 1970s. Of course, the Great Red Spot was also very visible here. Researchers also got their first comprehensive impression of Jupiter's surface composition. It became clear that the marbling of the gas giant is in fact very dynamic, even though from Earth it looks as if the patterns are constant. In fact, they are gigantic gas upheavals and storms. So it soon became clear that the Great Red Spot is the most gigantic storm of the solar system. The Mystery of the Great Red Spot The Great Red Spot was once three times the size of the Earth, but then it shrank over the past 20 to 30 years, and today only one Earth would fit inside. That's certainly gigantic enough, yet this process caused researchers some headaches. They didn't know if the storm was a strange anomaly that could almost be called a Jupiter disease, or if this storm could even be important to the balance of the gas giant. Now you may ask yourself, what is the business of processes on Jupiter? For this, you must know that Jupiter plays a decisive role in the whole solar system. Its own weight stabilizes the orbits of all inner planets, so also, the Earth. In addition, scientists say that Jupiter is responsible for keeping thousands of asteroids in the asteroid belt between the gas giant and Mars exactly where they are. If Jupiter's gravitational force fails or if violent upheavals occur on this planet, this could have repercussions for the entire solar system. Oddly enough, in addition to the loss of size, researchers then observed this. From 2008 to 2020, the storm's wind speed increased by 8%. The storm had since shrunk from an oval to a round shape. People speculated whether this compression of the storm could be responsible for the wind speeds increasing again. Since we can only view the surface of the Great Red Spot, even with the largest telescopes from Earth, it was time to send another probe to Jupiter to study these processes in detail. In 2011, the Juno mission was launched, and five years later, the orbiter arrived in Jupiter's orbit. The results of this mission changed everything we previously thought we knew about the Great Red Spot. What was going on inside the storm? Juno's mission objectives were clearly defined. 
In addition to the planet's massive magnetosphere, the probe was to study Jupiter's major moons and the Great Red Spot. Of course, researchers would have preferred to send a probe directly into the storm, but that's not possible because of Jupiter's high magnetic radiation. A lander would probably be torn apart before it even halfway studied the spot. Consequently, the scientists had to come up with something. They constructed two measuring devices that would finally study the mysteries of the patch from a distance. One study group looked at gravitational interactions around the storm and across its surface. This allowed astronomers and astrophysicists to see how the presence of the storm affects the gravitational field and, of course, vice versa. The researchers also observed for the first time how Jupiter's gravitational fields affect the storm and whether they may even be involved in the storm's formation. Juno's gravity science instrument recorded enormous amounts of data over weeks and months and radioed them to Earth. Thanks to the analysis of this measurement data, the researchers were able to record the depth of the storm for the first time and even locate its origins. It quickly became clear that the largest storm in the solar system is formed by jets at a depth of 3,000 kilometers, but itself only reaches about 500 kilometers deep. The second research team was concerned with microwave scans. Using Juno's microwave radiometer, the probe can detect radio signals of various elements and elemental processes on the surface of the storm, but also inside. Signatures of ammonia and water, in particular, were revealed. The radio wave measurements are so fine that researchers were even able to reconstruct that condensation processes of both substances play a significant role within the storm. Cyclones and anticyclones shape the surface. Although we seem to always see Jupiter in the same guise, Moving images of the surface show very well the incredible amounts of gases and clouds that are circulated here. The entire surface consists of storms and cloud bands. The most prominent storm on Jupiter's surface, the Great Red Spot, of course, is a left-turning anticyclone. Cyclones and anticyclones differ not only in the direction of rotation, but also in the distribution of temperature, or rather, the distribution of temperature in the atmosphere is directly involved in the formation of the direction of rotation. Cyclones are warmer at the top and colder at the bottom, while it's the other way around for anticyclones. Consequently, these are warmer at the bottom and colder at the top. Presumably, at the location of the Great Red Spot, there is some anomaly in the deep layers of Jupiter that leads to this storm turning the other way and being warmer at the bottom. It would also be conceivable that at this place, different currents meet on the surface, and by the enormous forces, which accumulate at these places, an appearance like the Great Red Spot is formed. Also, the white, yellowish, or light red stripes on Jupiter's surface are storms or fast-moving cloud bands. Only these are not quite so enormous and or turn differently than the Great Red Spot. Where does the color come from? Of course, in this context, researchers also tried to clarify why the red spot is red. Researchers cannot explain this with 100% certainty, despite the new realizations by the Juno mission. It's possibly because of the high extension of the storm. The red spot rises some kilometers above the surrounding layers. So the red coloration could come about because the parts of the storm rising higher into the atmosphere at this point react with other gases or elements in the atmosphere. Another theory is that the anticyclone, due to its unusual direction of rotation and intensity, stirs up gases or possibly dust from deeper layers, which then produce the typical red color at the surface. A few years ago, another small red spot appeared in Jupiter's southern hemisphere. This showed researchers that this form of storm can apparently appear elsewhere on the planet. Since then, scientists have also been looking at the shrinking of the Great Red Spot with different eyes. For a while, they even thought that the Great Red Spot 
could dissolve at this point, and that the forces released by the dissolution would allow a new massive red storm or even smaller storms to form at another location. The small red spot even migrated towards the big one for some time, so a merger of the two was thought possible. The Summary of Juno's Mission Juno's mission is far from over, but the probe turned away from the red spot in 2021 and took up a new position over Jupiter's south pole. But the exploration of the red spot is far from over. Juno sent an incredible flood of data to Earth. It may be years before all the measurement results and images are evaluated and new surprises may always come to light. However, NASA already drew a short summary of the Juno mission with regard to the Great Red Spot and explained that the most important finding at present is that the processes in Jupiter's atmosphere extend much deeper than originally assumed. Exploring the deeper layers of the gas giant would, of course, be a major concern for the global astronomical community. It's certain that technical progress cannot be stopped and that in a few years, we will have even better probes and measuring techniques to better investigate phenomena such as the red spot or even gas planets in their entirety. The new James Webb Space Telescope has already taken a look at the gas giant Jupiter and delivered this exciting image. Jupiter is shown here through various color filters. The shading and points of light give researchers further insight into the composition of gases, elements, as well as altitude and depth differences and temperatures on the planet's surface. These brand new data are sure to further contribute to our understanding of the Great Red Spot. Tell us now what you think about this exciting phenomenon. Did you know that the Great Red Spot is a storm? And how do you imagine Jupiter's interior? Let us know and share your thoughts in the comments. Remember to mention that you've subscribed and to like the video. Have a great day and we'll see you next time at Simply Space.